one of the most spectacular natural phenomena in Africa. Djibouti's Lake Asal. The name means honey lake in Arabic, but there's nothing sweet about it. In fact, it's ten times saltier than the ocean. We're at the lowest point on the African continent, 155 meters below sea level. We're surrounded by dormant volcanoes, and this bright turquoise water is ringed by a huge salt field. The nomadic Afar tribe have been mining it for centuries, and today they still load up their camels for the long trek south to Ethiopia. Their salt caravans travel for up to five weeks amid searing temperatures. For the Afar, it's an economic lifeline, but their way of life has become more difficult. Muhammad Ali tells us it's drier than before, and fresh water has become scarce. There is no work for us here. Drought has killed our animals. Life is very difficult right now. We feel abandoned by the government. Life for my father back then was much better. He trained. There were many animals and we could live off their milk. A drop in salt prices has forced the Afa to diversify. They've created an array of salty trinkets to sell to tourists. Musa Humad has been working here for six years. The little money I make is thanks to tourists who pass through at the weekends. Life is hard here, especially without much water. During summer, few tourists come. It's too hot, so we have to move to another region. The government has made Lake Asal the centerpiece of its push to entice more visitors to Djibouti. Hopes for job opportunities are also pinned on a new port being built for salt exports. The Afar hope these measures will help sustain their ancient way of life in the face of growing odds. Clementine Logan, CCTV, Lake Asal, Djibouti.